Author's Note In The Boy, I return to a setting my longtime readers know is a favorite of mine, Louisiana's French Triangle, Cajun Country. It is a place like no other, ecologically, sociologically, culturally, and linguistically. I have done my best to try to impart some of the rich flavor of the region to you, in part through language and dialect. Cajun French is a patois as unique to Louisiana as gumbo. Imagine Elizabethan-era French that evolved isolated from its home country, influenced by the spice of Spanish, Creole, Native American, and African languages. Because Cajun French evolved predominantly as a spoken language, spellings and even meanings of words may vary from one area to the next. According to the last census, about one in ten families in South Louisiana still speak French in the home, and many words and phrases find their way into the speech of English speakers. 1. She ran down the gravel road, struggling, stumbling, her breath sawed in and out of her lungs, ragged and hot, painful, like serrated knives plunging into and pulling out of her chest. The night air was too thick, too heavy. She thought she might drown in it. Her legs wobbled beneath her like rubber, heavy with fatigue. Sweat streamed from her pores. It felt like her skin was ready to peel away, leaving her red and raw and bloody. Blood. So much blood. On her hands, in her hair, on her face. She was painted with it. When she found someone, if she found someone, they would see the blood too. They would see the whites of her eyes and the red of the blood that streaked down her cheeks and across her jaw. They would see the blood that stained her hands like red lace gloves. They would be horrified without even knowing the true horror of what had happened. She replayed it over and over in her mind's eye, the images flashing like a strobe light, like random scenes from a movie, the flash of the knife, the flailing arms, blood spraying everywhere. She could taste the blood, bitter and metallic. She could taste the salt of her sweat and her tears. The mix made a nauseating cocktail in her mouth. It choked.